Namaskara. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing very well. So uh, this uh, topic of discussion is related to our new education policy. And uh, we have also spoken about this uh, in the previous uh, sessions or whenever I get to meet some of you at the school campus. So I wanted to share this one more time so that, you know, everybody is aware about what is this new education policy. To start with, a new circular uh, was released by the government uh, regarding the minimum age criteria for the students so that they could go to grade one. Now, the first circular was released on 26th of July, uh, which stated that children should be six years of age so that they get the admission to enroll into standard one or to grade one. And this also came up with the condition that the children would be able to get the admission to grade one as of 1st of June. So that means they should have a minimal age of six years as of June. And it is supposed to be applied from the next academic year, that is 2023 admissions, the very next year. This created a lot of confusion. This created a lot of chaos. And it was like... Uh, a kind of a panic situation for almost all the parents also because they had already enrolled their children into classes like nursery, LKG, UKG. And if their child was not getting the enrollment for grade one, what next? So just like the parents, even the schools had a lot of concerns like what to do with these children in case they would have enrolled because the older policy spoke about we could enroll the children of 5.8, 5.96. 6. We were enrolling the students for the um, class of grade one. Now, many children who have already studying in the classes, be it LKG, be it UKG, or be it nursery, or Mont 1, Mont 2, Mont 3, if they're not satisfying this age criteria, what to do? Should we repeat their classes? Because they are not following the age criteria. They are not six years of age as of June 1st, right? So, this created a confusion, but at the same time, it is also taxable for a child, right? So they have to repeat the entire class one more time. Correct? So they have to repeat the class one more time. So because of this, a lot of petitions were filed by schools. Petitions were filed individually by parents. And because of the continuous effort, a new petition was also released. And in that petition, everything was same like how they had it. So the new petition got released. Now in the new petition, what happened later was like in the new circular, what they released, they kept everything same, but few things changed. Now what all was same, the age criteria of six years for admission to grade one is remaining same as of 1st of June. But this will not be applicable from the next year. That is 2023, it will not be applicable but it will be applicable from 2025 onwards. So that means there was a relaxation for all those students who are currently studying in MONT 2, MONT 3, or we call it as LKG, UKG, or even some schools, they call it as PP1 and PP2, right? Even if they are not six years, they can get into grade one for these children. However, for students who are there in nursery or Mont 1, this will not apply. Even though the child is, say, 5 years, 11 months, and say some 25 odd days also, the child will not have a relaxation to get promoted because these are the children who would be moving to 2025, right? So they will have to repeat the curriculum. Now, this change, even though... Why it is made like this is because majority of the state or majority of the students are sent to formal schooling. So they're sent to schools only from LKG onwards. Very less number of percentage of number of students is sent to uh, maybe nursery classes or maybe to Mont 1. And if you see it is more in places like Bangalore or in metropolitan cities, the children are attending nursery classes. But if you take a overall cumulative numbers, we don't see much of an enrollment happening to nursery or Mont 1 itself. So that's the reason they had taken up this decision. And they gave the relaxation only from LKG and UKG, but not to nursery classes. So this rule has been applied. 
So now what? So if our students of nursery or Montuan, if they do not fall under this age criteria, if they don't satisfy this age criteria of fulfilling minimum age of six years as of June 1st, as of 2025, they cannot get an enrollment to grade one. So what do we do? At schools, at uh, what we have planned at TBPS is the children will get a natural promotion. Whoever has started the class of Mont 1, they will be promoted to, not to Mont 2, but they will do an advanced Mont 1, which is considered to be as an advanced curriculum or a special year for children. We call that as Mont 1 Plus, which will have an advanced curriculum. So this is the clarity that I wanted to tell. So children who are not satisfying the age criteria of Mont 2 and Mont 3, they will be promoted to the other classes. But if Mont 1 and playgroup is not satisfying the age criteria of having a minimal of three years and two years, they cannot be moved into the higher classes. So I hope this clarity was given and it is not by us. It is by the government. The government has circulated this rule and it is applicable as per the new education policy and as the schools, we need to adhere to all these rules which they have applied. So thank you very much. I hope I have made uh, myself clear on this particular criteria. So if you have any clarifications, you can, you can write me an email or you can call me up or you can also personally meet. If you're a student of our school, you can come down and meet me in my office to have a further discussion on this day. Thank you very much. Have a great day.